they have a release time frame for this? So it looks I like did not see a release date. Looks like they're at some kind of uh, a toy show or something. So if anybody's got daughters out there, they're uh, of age to get this. Let us know uh, if, if you get your hands on it. So and real quick before you get to yours, mm -hmm. so and we were we, I was actually talking about this right before I left my house today, which is why I'm bringing it up, and this seems like a perfect time. So what age do you guys think is a good age to give your child? Electronic. Now, first of all, you're the devices. you're the one with the kid here. With, with screens. This isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm I'm interested in anyone's opinion and and obviously the why. So I I honestly said like a year ago I thought it should wait till like the two three age range mm -hmm. because I've heard of eye development mm -hmm. issues. That's the only real thing I'm concerned with. Is the eye development? If, if is that, it going to cause an eye development mm -hmm. issue? And that's something that concerns me as someone that needs glasses and I can barely see my hand in front. Of, I can't read the time on a wristwatch without my glasses. Right. Now, that being said, I had no, none of those. I mean, I had a light bright. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure that that's <laughs> the same. I had thing. A, a speak and spell. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was nothing, mm -hmm. anything like the screens we have today. No. And I'm still practically blind. I, I, I remember, for me, it was everybody was, uh, oh, he always has his face in that Game Boy. Mm -hmm. Which, let's be honest, it didn't have a backlight. So, yeah, I probably am partially blind because of that. Um, but, uh, you know, it, yeah, but it's so it's so persistent now. Uh, yeah. So, yes, it's, it's, it's definitely a much different. For me, and, and honestly, my, my uh, I don't look too, too much into this stuff. Like, kind of, you know, on the, on the outskirts. I figure I got nine months to figure it out whenever it happens. <laughs> so, I, it's going to be research, nine months yeah. of research, and you have no idea. Like, I have this, like, like four months of a preparatory plan for mm -hmm. kids and technology when this happens. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I've, I've watched what my sister does. And she, right. has, she has three kids. Right. Uh, right. Uh, two boys who are, are teenagers now and, and, a, and a younger girl. And, and she's, uh, she's watched pretty closely. I, I've been impressed with how she's handled this stuff. They all have devices of some kind now. And, and Molly is, uh, Molly is nine or 10. Um, so, you know, so, so she's got something of her own too, but it wasn't always that way. And Aaron was always careful. My, my sister was always careful about managing the time that they spent, uh, whether it's in front of the desktop computer that the family has doing that stuff. Um, whether it's, whether they have uh, some kind of device and how much time they get to spend with it. Um, she's been pretty conservative with it and I don't, I don't think, I don't see any problem mm -hmm. with that at all. I think it's just management. Like yeah. to, to me, it's, it, it's, it's management for mm -hmm. the most part. Um, and it's, 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 you know, make sure they go outside you know, at least a little bit, yeah. you know, and, but I think, I, I don't think, you know, you know, just, just general, just be like, don't have them be sitting there doing something. Mm -hmm. That's the worst thing. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, if they're like playing Wii sports for three hours, great. You know, <laughs> or they're playing yeah. dance. Uh, played uh, was it Just Dance? Is that one game? Yeah. Um, yes. I played that yes. a few weeks ago at the Carlins, is um, and uh, on their Wii and everything. And, and I'm just like, okay, okay, this is this is this is good. This is my first time experiencing this. Where we might have to try this out because I was a big fan of DDR back in the day, Dance Dance Revolution. Right. Um, I have a pad in in storage back there um, <laughs> that that may or may not work. Next so. week on Awesome Cast, <laughs> we break out the Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> Welcome to DDR Cast. Um, but no, I, I um yeah, I think I think management, um, I think take advantage of those those parental tools, you know, like the mm -hmm. the time ones, mm -hmm. you know. Um I, I think like doesn't the newer Xbox have one where you can set times or limits of some sort? I thought I heard I don't know if the some Xbox of those does. that's a good question. Do and I think you can also uh through the family sharing options and on ios devices because and i've used the i've seen the parental controls where you can kind of triple tap and you can lock it into the app and you right. can set that kind of stuff what area of the screen is usable can't leave the app without typing in a pin so, you know what gets me is so christopher's a little over 10 months and he likes the noises it makes mm -hmm. and he likes the fact that the screen lights up mm -hmm. that's cool to him he He's obviously not at the point he can he can't even really walk, so it's not like he's even really paying much attention to it. But he likes having it in his hand, so we went and got him a Fisher Price cell phone, and it's mm -hmm. or maybe it's I can't remember the brand name, but anyway, it has Sesame Street characters on it, and he hits the buttons and it lights up, and the Elmo talks to him. He has zero interest in that, and he completely can tell the difference, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's okay. not. You're not going to fool me. <laughs> and it's like, it, okay, I don't want to give this 
this to you because it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. Well, is it to me? That's where you know, you know, the collection of stuff that right, I have around but, here. But that's so the kind of like, thing is here's an iPad One right here. Right, go nuts. Here's you know? an old iPhone. Like that's I think that's to me, to me that's the way to do it. If you have that ability, or you start having that ability, where like, oh, I'm not going to sell this back or whatever. I'm going to hold on to the uh, that last iPhone, and mm -hmm. that goes to the kid, you know, which is probably also good since the kid's going to break it. You Even know, in a different era. My, I, I know my nephews um, would prefer just old deactivated flip phones. Flip phones, that, that, yeah. that my, uh, but my sister and brother-in-law. I've, I've seen other over, kids with those too. Yeah, things that are meant for children that are supposed to look like that. <laughs> no, that that that's that's a fake, and I want the real they want to be like mommy and daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy and daddy's on the cell phone all the time yeah. or the iPad or whatever it is. And, and they can tell they can, they're, they're not fooled by the plastic. What, facility. We actually took, cause he's obsessed with the remote for the TV. Mm -hmm. We actually took the remote. And I don't want to turn this into a kid thing, but um, this like helps some quick. people. This is important uh, to yeah. some people. Uh, so, yeah. so we took, he was obsessed with the remote. So I went upstairs to one of the TVs that has a universal remote for the bo cable box type device that we have plugged into it. And I took the batteries out of the TV remote that uh -huh. is exactly the same as the TV remote we have downstairs. And it's not good enough. He wants the one that <laughs> controls the TV. No, wow. it's not. I have the thing. It's I have the thing oh, that does that. Yes. You know, it's, it's the interaction. It's no, what do you think? As we I continue our preview of whenever I have a kid and we have our daddy <laughs> cast. Um, <laughs> what do you think about the idea that the, the kid's going to have? their first interaction with a computer is going to be that touch thing and not a keyboard mouse or the Nintendo buttons or something like that. What do you think that's going to, uh, how do you think that's going to affect kind of their growth in technology? I don't, uh, because I think, or, or the, are you the person that's going to get a raspberry Pi and sit in front of the kid and see what happens? <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I'm completely okay with it. As long as I can keep up with the technology and I have a technology related job. So it works out pretty well. Um, for me and in, in my case, but what I would see happening is over time, obviously as, and we see it today where, where at least where I work, the college graduates and, and, or people coming to that working age have expectations and they have an understanding that maybe the older generation doesn't have. And I feel like, older generation. <laughs> I feel like over the past few years, the technology has grown so fast that it has only broadened the gap. Mm -hmm. And I think there's even more to be said. I don't know if you want to call it in corporate America or just in the workforce where you you have to look at both sides. You have to look at the f mid 50, early 60s, even into the mid 60s before retirement age people. And you need to lark, work, look at the technolo technology person that's in their early 20s and adapt for both of them accordingly. I don't I don't think there's the, there's no longer give them a typewriter. Yeah. Yeah. It's are you I, how do I explain cloud storage? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Holy wow. How do you? It's you know, and there's actually, and I, I listened to Dan Benjamin's uh, "Back to Work" with uh, Merlin Mann, and they got into that because he had to explain what was he? He was explaining something like cloud storage to his eight year old, I think. And oh, and or also, and also the kid. This was interesting. The kid was trying could tell the difference between when he's being read a book on Kindle and when he's been read a book, a book book, a book a book, book. Mm -hmm. and was starting to prefer. The book is like, Daddy, read me from the book, you know, and just like, why does the kid okay. care, you know? And the, I, I don't know if it just seems is more the, important. The pause you know? and the flip of the page. I, don't I know. No, I, no, I think it's just that that's the th like that he's holding a book, you know, versus mm -hmm. he's holding this, you know, tablet. electronic device. Yeah, this device, and that is carrying a weight with him mm -hmm. in purpose. I would think. Um, but I mean, then think about it in reverse too. So the the older generation is uh, is going to understand okay it could be we could have problems if we store all of our accounting information and employee social security numbers in a spreadsheet in dropbox versus the 
younger person says, I just mm -hmm. want to throw everything in Dropbox because I can get it from anywhere. Right, right, so, right, right. So like there's this there's this balance that I see up and coming, and I think it's only going to get worse. It is. It School is going to have to turn into this kind of education. Yeah. Like it's going to have to be more. I, I maybe for me being a non-parent yet, uh, I'm a little naive in it, but like in social media, I feel like like, yeah, there has to be education just like they're doing bullying education mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff about social education. That social media education has to be a part of it uh, coming up in elementary high schools, mm -hmm. especially, especially mm -hmm. high schools. Um, uh, hey, Doug actually has a, has something to chime in here. Uh, uh, the Doug of, uh, of course, should I drink that dot com? If you guys want to check that out, um, doing great stuff with Google uh, Hangouts lately too. I've been really liking what he's been doing, adapting the show to that lately. Uh, Teaspoon, his kid, uh, plays with all of his old tech, Palm Pilots, several PDAs. Uh, they love the old PlayStation Two. By the time he was three, uh, he could work a computer. Uh, both boys could use my cell phone just after they turned two. Okay. okay. And uh, and these are ones. He's one that um he was. I think he was snatching up VHS tapes so they could just use yes, those with their <laughs> and watch those and not have to worry about. Because I've had friends with kids and they, I, those I'll see their like Disney DVDs sitting around and they're just destroyed. See, I Absolutely look at that. that that's, all, that's all digital store. That's what I'm server. thinking too. Like that yeah. turns into give the kid the iPad with the thing that he touches and it shoots the thing up to the screen. Like I like you've you've ultravioleted or put it on a server or what I mean that's yeah to me like I, I rip all the DVDs I have sitting upstairs. It's sitting on a server. Those don't even like those go high on a shelf so the kid doesn't like decides to play frisbee with a bunch of frisbees someday. Um very expensive frisbees. Um and and, and yeah that just becomes <laughs> the interface. Now for the un i'm gonna make a server people out there um like it netflix kids you yeah. know i mean that's mm -hmm. that's really it you know i i think so well then the kid goes to someone else and says why doesn't your house have the entire world of movies on the tv automatically exactly like you wonder like then that's the other thing i worry about like i don't want to spoil him but you know i remember going to a friend's house and he had satellite yeah so and i had a friend that had, and we sat had there. a neo geo cable yeah, we are had cable, you know? I'm like, this is a different one. You know what I did? When I came, I would come often for a week or two in the summer down here to Pittsburgh to my grandparents, mm -hmm. and I would watch cable for two yes. weeks. Like, that was my, if I remember a show that was in cable in the 80s, it's because I watched it for two weeks <laughs> every summer, and that was it. <laughs> um, and it was bad. You couldn't, you could barely pull me away from it. Um, but I'm like, eh, that's awesome. There's cartoons on like almost all the time. Then all this like old black and white stuff after like nine o'clock. I don't yep. get that. I watched a lot of laughing. It was weird. Um, but anyways, uh, I digress. But no, I, I I think it's really interesting. Let's know what you guys think too about uh, a VHS thrift store <laughs> two for twenty five cents. Hell yeah! I'd say hey, I got a lot of wrestling tapes. If you want those, man, I, I, I found I found a box of, of VHSs tapes. in the in the basement. Don't, yeah, if you want them. There you go. Them. There you go. <laughs> I was saying, I think I was trying to sell them. It was like, hey, man, I know they're not probably old enough for wrestling. They're probably rambunctious enough, but I got a bunch of the good ones. And you can wait for giving them the ECW ones I have. So, anyways. <laughs> nice. Anyways, let's get, let's move on in the awesome conversation. Uh,